Wow. What an experience. I don't even know how to express my, uh, my emotions right now. Um, Jax is hanging out here with me. He's been an absolute rock star for the last three months. Um, me and my son are in Las Cruces, New Mexico, um, where we spent the night. And today we drive and end up in Scottsdale back to Hannah. Um, give you guys a little snapshot. Uh, we did the bike event. It took 75 days, two and a half months to go 3,000 miles across the country. Um, so many, so many layers and stories and amazing parts of that journey. And then at the end, uh, Hannah started having pain and uh, ended up in a hospital in Orlando, outside of Orlando in Celebration, Florida. And uh, they did a lot of tests and scans and uh, we needed to get her back to, to Scottsdale, back home to our doctors and our, our people there as fast as we could. So she flew back. My son flew out from, from Arizona and we've been driving and today's number five. So we're trying to get about 500 miles in, just under 500 miles in each day. And uh, we've got about 400 left, something like that. So in six hours, we should be in, um, in Scottsdale home to my beautiful wife, Hannah, who's in pain right now. The cancer spread, there's another broken bone. Um, and uh, it's, it's just like an unbelievable end to this chapter because it's not the end of, you know, whatever is going on, but you know, to, to do the ride for Living Hope Cancer Foundation, to inspire people to get up and live through the toughest uh, times in their life. Um, it's just been a, it's been a whirlwind because you really don't know what to expect until you hit the road. Uh, biking itself has become a love of mine. Um, I just love the morning air. I love the, the riding. I love the challenge and pushing myself. Um, and uh, so I don't know what will happen after this. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more rides. I've been contacted by uh, some pretty, pretty neat uh, organizations that asked if I would do a ride with them. Um, so um, we're going to look at all this. And all, with all this in, in thought, in the middle of my ride, <laughs> I, I wrecked my bike. I hit a metal grate on a bridge over going over the Mississippi and landed on my, my face and my head. And so there's some, there's some thoughts about that also that me and Hannah will discuss, you know, when it's time. Um, but I just wanted to, uh, just to thank everybody, you know, that's been supporting us through this ride. Um, it's been an absolutely incredible journey. And part of that journey is all the people around us, the people that were watching us, um, on our website, getupandlive.org, uh, the people that, you know, we're calling the people that were sending messages, the people that were following all of our posts, uh, the people that were praying for, um, our safety and for Hannah's health, um, the people that showed up at the end of the ride. Um, and, uh, it just, um, it just really, really made the entire event, uh, what it, what it became. So the ride like a thriver event for 2022, um, it's coming to a final end. Uh, me and Hannah, I hope can, uh, celebrate somehow. We haven't yet because of, uh, her, uh, journey with her, cancer treatment um but we, we probably will but this is kind of a an end for me today is to just get home and give her a big hug <laughs> love you guys <laughs>